Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is Oracle card time. You know I love my Oracle cards. Today I am using Sonia Choquette. I hope I'm saying her name right. The answer is simple. But then I was like really torn because I wanted to use Gabrielle Bernstein's cards. I really love these cards. It's called The Universe Has Your Back. Uh, these are, oh my God, these are more like um, just feel good cards for the day. They're not really like Oracle cards to me. It's more like an affirmation. So I'm gonna first pick an affirmation card for us. Then I'll do an Oracle card. All right, I always tap it. I don't know, maybe it's mental. I just remind the universe to clear the cards for you. So I will pick a card. That one stands out. Okay. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Redirect. And this is all about redirecting your mind. So when you catch yourself thinking something that is self-limiting, which we often do, you reverse it or you flip it. You acknowledge it. Oh, there's that thought. And you choose to say the reverse, right? I keep saying the word reverse. You choose to do the opposite, okay? So I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again, I choose love. I think it's backwards when I show it to you, but whatever. All right, so that's my Gabrielle Bernstein deck. I These are my favorite, it's, my, it's like one of my favorite decks. Okay, and now I'll pick the Oracle card. Right now, if you know me, you know, I don't, I'm not like a big book person. It does have a beautiful little book. I'm not gonna read from it. This is more intuitive, okay? Uh-oh, two minutes in. I promised myself I'm gonna try to make these quick. All right, so, all right, I'm not gonna really do much because I honestly, this one just popped out for me. Ooh, this reminds me of Aladdin, the card, the way it looks. This is share your gifts. Share your gifts. I love this. Oh my gosh, I love this. And right away, so for myself or for you, I would say, think about what you love in life, right? Like to me, the best job you could ever have is find what you love to do and figure out how to make a living from it, right? And I think that if you truly can do that, you're sharing your gifts. So I love yoga, I love the practice of mindfulness, I love meditation, and that's what I share, okay? Or healing, or readings, or whatever it is. So do a little soul searching. What do you love to do? If you could just do anything in life, right? What would it be? And find a way to share that love for that thing. And, um, and share your wisdom, share your knowledge. Uh, everyone has something that they can share. Now, just to show you, I will like kind of share a little bit with the book. Again, I'm not so much of a book person, but here we go. Life isn't demanding any great thing of you in this moment. It is only asking that you trust your spirit and share your gifts which may include the ability to listen, to calm others, to make a meal, to organize a situation, to run errands, blah, blah, blah. That's pretty much what I said. And, um, and, and just, to, just to add, it doesn't have to be a thing, right? Like it doesn't have to be like, I teach yoga. It could be share your ability to listen. I have this amazing friend. She is such a good listener. My friend Stacy is like, I could literally, step into any situation and I could just be so angry and negative and like totally in my mind and I go to her and I'll like say something and she's so good at helping me switch it and she's sharing her gift of being able to switch any situation to something positive so it could just be the gift of being a great listener of somebody who has a positive attitude and you're sharing that so with that, I hope you have the best Wednesday. Share those gifts. We love you. You are loved. And we'll see you soon.